Screen capture made easy for Chromebooks or any other device. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now if you've been looking for the perfect screen recorder that you can use on your Chromebooks, on your Windows device or even on your Mac devices that allows you to embed a video of yourself then this is the video for you. Now the program we're going to use today is called Loom and it's an extension for your Chrome browser so go ahead and look for the Loom extension and then you can click on install that extension. So once you're in the Chrome store, chrome.google.com web store, you can install this extension. Now you will find the link to this extension in the description below. So don't forget to check out that description. Now we're going to add it. We're going to add the extension, give it permission to run in the background. And as soon as it's been installed, you will see it pops up in my browser. There we go. Now we can now use this extension by simply clicking on the icon or using the Alt Shift L shortcut. Now I'm going to use the click on the icon. Now as an example I'm going to dive into my Google Drive and I'm going to do a quick recording of me converting this Word document into a Google document. So let's go ahead and click on our extension and let's click on continue with Google. Now I'm going to sign in with Google and I'm going to give it permission. Now one very neat feature of Loom is the fact that you get unlimited recordings. There are no limits, there's no time limits and everything just works the way it should work. Now I'm going to select education because I use this for educational purposes and I'm a teacher. Now here you can just select a couple. Now I'm going to just quickly select lesson recaps, feedback and teacher training. Next. And we are now in Loom. Now, as you can see, there's a little demo video here of how to use Loom, but you could also simply click on the extension and start using it. Now here you have the one click access. This is a microphone and camera recording, but you can skip that for now. And I now give it permission to my microphone and camera. Now, as soon as I click on allow, you will see that there is a video that pops up and I can then change my settings. Now I can either record the full desktop or the current tab. I can do a screen and cam or I can select screen only. Now I'm going to keep it at screen only for now. I'm going to select the full desktop and I'm going to start my recording. Now as soon as I click on start recording you will see that it again asks me which application window I want to use or do I want to record my entire screen. I'm going to go ahead and record my entire screen. I'm given a countdown and we are now recording my screen. So I can now dive into whatever I want to demonstrate. So let's just quickly open up this file and demonstrate how this can be converted into a Google Doc. So I simply right click, open it up as a Google Doc. And I now have my Google document. There we go. Now, to stop this recording, you will see there are a couple of options down below. I can change my camera settings. I can cancel the recording. I can pause my recording or I can say, okay, we are finished. Now, under these three dots, you can obviously hide the menu, but I'm going to click on finished. Now what Loom does is it's now rendering this video. It sends me back to their website and I can immediately start working with this video. So here I have my recording. I can click on it to preview. There we go. I can preview this recording. Then I can either share this video with people on Twitter, Facebook, via my Gmail, or I share the link. But what I particularly like about Loom is that I can download this video as an MP4. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to quickly crop this video. So let's just trim it. I'm going to trim it a couple of seconds. Let's just trim the part where I select my file. There we go. And I'm going to have the end immediately after finishing the conversion. There we go. Now, in order to keep this part, you're going to click on cut selection. Now I can cut the selection. It is now adding a trim and I can publish these train changes. There we go. Now what it's doing is it's now taking those frames. It's cutting them, trimming my video. Now, once all of this has been finished, I can click on this small download icon down below and this will download an MP4 version of my video. Now I can also view this video's permissions. Now I'm going to download this video. It is downloading an MP4 file. And when I open up this file, 
There we go, my video starts playing and I can now do with this video whatever I want. I can share it on my VLE, I can share it on YouTube or any other location. So a very powerful screen recorder, Loom. If you are looking for all your previously recorded videos, simply click on my videos at the top and you will find all your videos. Again, Loom, a very powerful screen recorder that allows you to quickly record your screen yourself on the webcam and share these with the world. Let me know in the comment section below how you would use Loom, how you would have your students use it, and I will reply to all comments. This was another flipped classroom tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.